we are faced or tasked with a, a huge responsibility and uh, really more than anything, maybe more than responsibility, it's opportunity. Um, I think we're all aware of just the, the chaos of, of our world right now with COVID-19 and the coronavirus and all of that means, implications and the cautions and you know all the things that, that come with that. And my inbox has been flooded just like I'm sure yours is with everybody saying, you know, here's what we're going to do and how we're going to respond. And, and, you know, I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, just watching the the people around us respond the way that they are, and and I hope and trust that you're gonna you know respond in a way that is uh, good for the kingdom, that uh, reflects uh, Christ and and uh, His values, and and so just want to encourage us then with that. Um, just verbally, you got an email, probably seen an email from me from our staff um, as well, but just wanted to verbally just communicate too with with our church and. And those of you that may be watching that, you know, in front of us is a, a great opportunity, an opportunity to really, um, you know, be people of light and light, to be people of hope, um, to be people who rise up in the midst of, you know, challenging circumstances to, to be the church, to show the love of God. And um, so I just want to encourage you, uh, if you, you know someone who's been impacted by the by the virus or someone who's gone through something hard or maybe even someone who's lost to someone very close to them important to them um, it's my hope and my prayer that for us that we'd be able to respond in compassion and would be you know on the front lines of, of reaching out of letting the people around us know that we're praying that we're believing God for this to you know to quickly move that we're praying for his comfort and his love over those who've experienced loss and, and hardship during this time. And, and we know too, there's, there's so much unknown at this point as well. That makes things uh, a little bit uh, interesting. And, um, uh, that to me really is what makes, you know, something like this so difficult. It's just kind of, we're in the dark to a lot of different things. So I just want to encourage us to remember who's in the dark with us. Jesus is in the dark with us. And, and so let's let's trust him. Let's not be anxious. Let's be salt and light. Let's let's pray. Let's believe. Let's trust. Um, let's encourage one another. Let's live by example. Let's really see what's in front of us as an opportunity to uh, rally together and to be the church that uh, Christ has called us to be in our community to the people around us. So. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're, we're coming from. And, and so this Sunday, uh, we're going to meet, we're going to have one gathering, and, and we know there are going to be many who um, choose to self-select and stay home. And uh, especially if you find yourself in that, that vulnerable group, I would encourage you, you know, to do that as well. And, and for those of us who do venture out, we're going to have one gathering at 10 a.m. and uh, we're going to seek Jesus together and just have a good time and, and still honor what our state is requesting of us and, you know, all the things that come with that and do our best to, you know, encourage all the things that, that come with uh, making sure we do all, you know, our best to uh, make sure that uh, the virus doesn't um, continue spreading. So, yeah, so one gathering this Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, and then moving forward, you know, we're just going to, it's a very fluid um, uh, you know, situation, and so we'll do our best to keep everyone uh, abroad with uh, any changes to ministries, programs that may come in the future. Um, yeah, and then stay tuned for news on on um, on streaming online. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of research, and so hoping to get that little piece figured out here soon. And uh, uh, I know we were looking toward uh, Easter is kind of our target date for that, but we're going to, you know, move that forward, speed that up a little bit. And so hope to get some info out on that here real soon. So yeah, love you guys. Um, let's, let's be the church and let's trust Jesus and, and um, be his hands and feet to our community, our neighbors and the people around us. Um, praying for you and I hope you're praying for us as well.